I realise these times are very serious and it is vitally important to follow the advice being given by the governments. But this week we're going to try and give you some ideas to help relieve the boredom of isolation and hopefully help cheer everyone up just a little. Please take the following programme in the light-hearted vein it is intended. All trolls will be ignored. Hello kiddies and welcome to this week's Blue Pit AAR On Air. We've got an exciting show for you today and a special make section that you really won't want to miss. Now I'm sure you've noticed things are a little upside down at the moment all over the place. In fact, all over the world. And it's very important that you listen to the grown-ups. Because for once they seem to be right. Maybe because the really grown-up grown-ups are worried because it's affecting them more than anyone else. So if you still want Christmas and birthday presents off them in the future, you will need to listen. Of course, you've now got lots of time on your hands and you can't even go out with your mates down the boozer uh, park. Yes, park, not boozer. So, what are you going to do with yourselves? Well, we've got the solution. And if you get this right, you may even get a blue pit, an AAR badge. First of all, we need to go to the makeup table to show you where to start. First of all, you're going to need some things ready and you can always find them around the house. And of course, if in doubt, ask the grown up in the house if they're still sober. Hmm. You're going to need some old boxes from all the online shopping your sister's been doing recently because she can't get out now. You will need lots of these and a piece of carpet. If you haven't got a piece lying around, cut a piece out from under the bed. Nobody goes there and your mum hasn't cleaned it under there since round about 1958. You're going to need some sticky back plastic and a washing up liquid bottle. Get down, Cher. Well, you are. Well, you don't actually need the washing up bottle, but it's funny watching your mum trying to find where she left it and watching your dad get the blame. <laughs> If you've got any old birthday cards or Christmas cards lying around, they would be good too. If not, have a look under your dad's mattress. He's got some old magazines under there that you can use. Don't worry, he won't say anything about them. Well, not in front of your mum anyway. So, once you've all that lot, we can start. You need to get the box or boxes. And pack them with layers and layers of cardboard, magazines, carpet. Until they're good and packed. If you've only got small boxes, you might want to use several stuck together. that draw some circles <coughs> on a piece of card and stick them to your box and uh, hey presto here's one I prepared earlier you've made a backstop if you're not sure what that is, ask your dad. He'll be well impressed. Now this is England and as usual it's likely to be raining and cold outside and being stuck in the house for 12 weeks is going to drive you mad. Heck, you go stir crazy halfway through the summer holidays. So we're now going to show you how to relieve the boredom. If you've got a garage at home and it's not full of junk like most people's, you could get this set up at one end and then you've got an indoor range. If you're not one of those posh gits with a garage or your dad has filled it with all your bikes and stuff when they were just far better being left dumped on the front lawn, then we can move to the inside. 
When inside, it's probably better to get the blanket or quilt off the bed and hang that up off the curtain rail behind the new backstop just to give your dad something to do when the curtain rail falls off the wall with all the excess weight. You see, this keeps everybody busy. I'm not sure they'll see it that way, but we know we mean well. You then have an indoor range for your dad to use. Now, don't forget to remind him that if he's going to use this range, he's better off using the plastic 4.5mm BBs in his low-powered air guns, or use the airsoft ones, if he has any. We can recommend he gets his hands on the Umarex DC-17 and the Daisy Red Rider if he can, because these are low power and less likely to cause your mum a hysterical hissy fit, even though this would give both of your parents the exercise they need as your mum chases him around the house, probably carrying something heavy. It would be a good idea to tell your dad to check out the videos on these guns in the links on the screen. Now, you need to talk to your mum and dad and remind them how they wanted to bring back national service because it would bring discipline back even though they never did it and now they're too old but letting you join in with the shooting will teach you gun discipline and may even get you interested in the sport and of course it'll increase that all-important family quality time that your mum keeps reminding him about. Who knows, if your mum sees you guys having fun, she may become interested too, bringing your mum and dad closer together. And maybe in nine months time, you could even have a little brother or a sister too. Now, it is important to remind your parents about safety. They must use low powered air guns or airsoft with lighter plastic ammunition and ensure you are all at a safe distance with the correct safety procedures being followed closely. And remind your dad to tell you that these weapons must be locked away when not in use and you can only be involved under strict supervision of the grown-ups. It's very important that you don't have any accidents because you won't be very popular at the hospitals right now. So the safety part is very important. Food. Well, you're probably on pasta and tin stuff round about now, so don't forget to save the tins for when the weather brightens up and you can go outside and do a spot of plinking. Now, if your dad is any good, he could even save the bottle tops off the beer bottles he managed to find at the supermarket that he's drinking at the moment because he can't go down the boozer anymore. Then challenge him to hit 10 out of 10. This then brings us on to the butchers because he's running out of chicken and you're getting a bit fed up of plain pasta. So if you take a look in your back garden, you'll find there's a ready supply of fresh uh, chickens. They're a little smaller than the usual ones, but these have been destroying the local farmer's crops and he'll be very pleased with you too. So, after your dad has become an expert marksman, he'll be able to get you one of those and your mum will be able to hone her culinary skills along the way as well. Well, there it is. The perfect way to brighten up the boring self-isolation periods, learn a skill and help feed the family in the process. That's it from us. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next Friday with some more amazing ideas and reviews. Bye for now. Bye for now.